Pankaj, this is uh, to you. How do you think about not being able to help um, startups and uh, just putting in money uh, through tokens? So for me, you know, as as an individual, not as part of a fund, but as as an individual. Well, it, if you were part of a fund and you have been a part of a fund, how would you kind of, if you were a GP in a fund? So right? a, a, as a fund, uh, my approach is a little bit different, right? Uh, I would probably write a far larger check into a company. I would probably look at coming in at, even before a pre-ICO, right? I would look at saying, okay, I'm going to come directly onto your cap table. So I'd approach it like a venture fund, come in early, buy security uh, in the company, uh, and be involved and help them through the process of doing an ICO and bringing in other folks that are value-added investors as well. Um, you know, and that's what many of the crypto funds are doing right now. The, the blockchain capitals, the polychain capitals, all of them are approaching it in similar ways. As an individual, it's a little bit different, right? Uh, I'm not going to write, you know, a 20 BTC uh, check into a uh, into an ICO. So my value add is 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 gone, and if I can't add value to a company, it's not as exciting. And the way I look at it as an individual then is, for me, it's an opportunity cost. Do I make, can I make more money investing in that ICO? That's what you think, that you are adding value to the company. Most of your company don't want your value. They just okay. want your money. That's right. <laughs> You're absolutely right. It is true. But there are plenty of founders that need help at various times. And that's the only reason they let you into a company, right? So. Me, yes. Yeah. <laughs> um, or you in general, right? Um, because they know at times there will be needs and challenges that they're going to face. Uh, and that's why they come in. When you're doing an ICO, all of that is removed. And in many cases, you're just vacuuming up pennies. And that's a challenge. So as an individual, it isn't as exciting uh, to me to invest in an ICO because I just, I can't get involved in the company in any meaningful so way.